Tonight, I want to go out and just get wasted. And not one of these campus bars. I want to get wrecked by a townie. Helen, you're outrageous. I can't believe you're getting away with this. I've been getting away with this since I was seven. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. Good morning, girls. Helen? <laughs> As you can see, we have plenty of cabinet space for your plate. The oven, of course, is just decorative. Mm, seems okay. Do you have any other units available? This is our only one. I hope you're happy, Marsha! We might have something upstairs. Even if you're a narcissistic pedophile. Hey, Ma! We got any pictures of me when I was a kid? Maybe something in a tub? Ah, everybody makes mistakes. Even doctors. You forgot to I say... I forgot to say clear. Look, Daddy! Teacher says every time a bell rings, some gay guy's gonna have sex with another gay guy. We're gonna pull you out of that school. Mi amor! Papa! Niño! Bueno. Everyone has fingernails and everyone wants cash. So send us all your fingernails and we'll send you some cash. Here you go, fellas. Thanks, Horace. Oh, here, let me get this one, Peter. Jeez, what the hell kind of stupid wallet is that, Joe? Uh, Bonnie's making wallets now. Look, she's going to ask you guys to buy one. I'll just give you the money. Just don't throw it out within five miles where we live. Hey, why do you have a Harvard Dining Hall ID? I pulled over some punk Harvard kid who gave me a bunch of lip, so I took his ID. Hey, you know, we should drive up there and use that car to eat for free. That's a great idea. Let's go to Harvard. Oh, I don't know, you guys. We'll be as out of place there as a black guy in Sweden. <gasps> black and sipping. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, so this is it. Harvard University. The alma mater of Fred Grandy, Amy Brenneman, and Ted Kaczynski. Are we sure this is the way to the dining hall? Oh, I'm sorry, your feet getting tired? God, I'd love to be able to wheel around in a toy all day. Yeah, this is it, you guys. The Harvard Dining Hall. Holy crap, this place is amazing! And just think, this is where Helen Kelly used to eat when she went here. They have breakfast for dinner! Lois never lets me do that! Lois, do you have any idea what I'm looking at right now? Peter, we're not doing this again. I am at Harvard, the smartest school in the country, and they have... Peter, breakfast for dinner is anarchy. It's fun, Lois. It's whimsical. It's ridiculous. Pancakes are not a nighttime food. You're ridiculous. <laughs> hey, was Beowulf a Teen Wolf sequel with Scott Bale? No. Ah, oh, then I just totally failed that medieval lit midterm. So, this is a Harvard bar, huh? Seems pretty normal. Hey, check it out. There's the Winklevoss twins. Let's get a drink. Get a drink. Let's get a drink. I thought of it first. Gentlemen, I give you the Asian. Ooh. Compact, hairless, and fiercely intelligent. The penises, while tiny, are extremely efficient. We're projecting 10 billion within five years. Also, there'll be different varieties that will all hate each other for some reason. Do they eat just, like, regular food? <laughs> no, no, no. The opposite. Let's go, Celtics! I think that's the Dr. Oz show. What are you talking about? This is the last scene of Independence Day. Hey, look, even the bartender's low deaf. Hey, what can I get you fellas? Hey, what do you say we get some shots? <laughs> let's get wasted! Yeah, let's get wicked bombed! Sorry, pal, we already have an intense wheelchair gun. Oh, hey, Stewie. Hey, sometimes when daddies drive home drunk, they come from far away places. But it's okay, because they didn't get arrested, and they're still kind of drunk. So they, they think it's okay. Oh, man, what happened last night? I can tell you what happened. What the? Who the hell are you? Who the hell do you think I am, sweetie? Oh, no. You mean... That's right, baby. As of last night, we're man and wife. By the way, I need you to call my pimp and tell him I quit. Oh, my God! I... This, 
This can't be possible. I can't be married to a prostitute. Where will you two be going on your scummy moon? And can I plan your bridal golden shower? I don't even know your name. It's Charmis. Perfect. Listen, Charmis, I was obviously very, very drunk. This whole thing is a huge mistake, and we gotta fix this right away. Like hell we do, sweet cream. This is just what I've always wanted, to settle down, find a husband, and live the married life. I got a marriage certificate right here. It's legit. And it looks like I signed one of the witness lines, and Peter partially signed the other. Heh, <laughs> Joe, look. This is true love. Hey, what's our last name again? You know, Quagmire, I was thinking last night, I might remember Charmise from a stag party in 1991. Ask her if she remembers getting hit in the forehead with a meatball sandwich. You guys, I can't stay married to her. This whole thing is a complete disaster. In fact, you know what? I gotta go down to the courthouse right now and file for divorce. This thing ends now. Well, to be honest, if you divorce her, she'll probably get everything you have. What? Oh, that's impossible. I can't lose all my money in my house. Then I'll have to move into some depressing divorced guy apartment. Sorry, Quagmire, but the only way around the law is if the woman consents to a divorce. Consent? But Charmies will never agree to that. You heard her, the crazy skank wants to be a wife. She's found herself a husband and she's not letting go. I bet she's what happens if you put a Hooters girl in the microwave on high. Well, the only other choice is to let her take all your money. Uh, well, I obviously can't do that. Guess I'm just gonna have to suck it. There you go, that's the spirit, buddy. There's a little bit of good in everyone. Except that president guy from the Hunger Games. He was pretty bad. So, Doc, I figured if Charmise and I are going to live as man and wife, I ought to get her checked out. Of course. Charmise, when's the last time you had a pelvic exam? When was the Missouri Compromise? Uh, I think 1821. Then I've never had a pelvic exam. All right, I'm going in. If I tug on the rope twice, that means pull me out. God, who are the pigs who just throw their empty beer cans down here? Hey, Charmise, you know, I really love your clothes. I found a lot of them on strung-out teenage corpses. That's so lovely, but I was thinking maybe this afternoon you'd like to borrow my credit card and buy yourself a new wardrobe. You know, something a little more conservative. Really? I would like to pawn all these clothes for crack money. Gosh, thanks so much for having us over, you guys. Of course, Glenn. Welcome to our home, Charmise. Sit any way you like. Th that chair with a garbage bag taped over it looks pretty good. Are you and Glenn thinking about children? Unfortunately, I can't have children. Oh, menopause? No, I got knifed in the vagina one Christmas. Oh, the holidays are always stressful. I have $3.74. Do something to me. <laughs> I love you. Excuse me, Lois, where's your bathroom? I gotta check on a whistling sound. Upstairs to the left. Um, I'm obsessed with Shamis. Hey, let's do it. What, you mean, like, sex? Yeah, and we should go now. I just stuffed everything back into place. Uh, you know, Charmise, I, I don't really think I'm in the mood. What? Uh, sorry, Charmise, I'm, I'm just not feeling it. Jeez, what the hell's your problem? What, what, what are you, gay or something? Excuse me? You heard me. You some kind of mo? Oh, God, please tell me I'm not married to some Nancy boy. Well, Charmise, I have something to tell you, and this isn't easy. But I'm gay. What? No, you can't be. I was gonna be a perfect little wife. I was gonna make you breakfast maybe once a week and give you stuff to do right when you walk through the door after work. And I would have loved that, Charmise, if I just weren't so super-duper double gay. I'm really sorry it didn't work out, Glenn. Me too, Charmise. I'll send the divorce papers to that Rite Aid where you brush your teeth. Hey, buddy, what happened? She gone? Yep, I'm off the hook, Peter. I told Charmise I was gay, and now she's going to consent to a no-fault divorce. That's brilliant, Quagmire. It's the exact opposite of what Hugh Jackman does. Pretend you're gay to get out of marriage. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Ah, everybody makes mistakes. Even doctors. Ah, <sighs> finally, back to my old life. Hello, Internet porn. Man, I haven't done this in two weeks. I should weigh myself before and after. Sorry, I forgot my prescription mouthwash. Ah! Gay men, don't watch straight porn. You lied to me, you son of a bitch. No, no, I'm gay. I swear. Here, watch me. Uh, uh, go there. Jen Aniston? More like Jen can't get a Maniston. <laughs> See? I went there. Damn it, Glenn. If you're not gay, then the divorce is off. No, no, I am. I swear to God. All right, fine. You heard me. I want to see you get it on with a guy. 
All right, Charmis. I'll do it. If that's what it takes, I'll have sex with another man. We now return to the dyslexic baseball wrap-up. And the Unark Nankies have eaten the Baltimore Boreals knife to foo here at Yamden Car. Hey, Peter, you got a minute? Oh, yeah, sure. Come on in, Quagmire. Listen, um, I need to ask you to do something. And, and it's something huge. Like, I mean, it's like the biggest thing a guy could ever ask his friend to do. Hey, we're best pals, right? Whatever you need. <sighs> Charmise won't give me a divorce because she doesn't believe I'm gay. So, I need you to have sex with me while she watches. I have some demands. Yeah, of course, of course. Nobody can ever know. Absolutely, I'm right there with you on that one. There will be no kissing on the mouth. Okay. I changed my mind. There will be kissing on the mouth. Ah, uh, all right. Uh, yes, if perchance it is beautiful, I reserve the right to cry. Peter, I can't imagine any scenario where this is going to be beautiful. Oh, I can. I'm a very passionate man. Haven't you ever seen my Spanish soap operas? Peter, can we just get out of here? I want to get this over with. This was part of the deal, Quagmire. I need this to be a lovely evening. Fine. I was work today. I don't want to talk about work. Hey, should we go someplace else for dessert? You know, someplace fun downtown where the college kids go? What? I'm not taking you to two different restaurants. Huh. Hard to believe your marriage isn't working out. Arroz for the gentleman. Quagmire, what's going on with you? You don't seem very present tonight. Why are you so tense? I'm tense because I have to bang you in 20 minutes. Well, if it's so much of a chore. <laughs> what the f*** is going on with my life? Here, let me stroke your hair. Thank you. I want to do gay things for you. I... I crave your groin. Yes, and I cannot wait to intertwine our bodies and make each other's fingers smell terrible. Enough! Kiss each other! Now take off each other's clothes! Oh god, I'm so excited for gay sex! Me too! Your body makes me so horny! <laughs> Shut up and do it! <laughs> Come on, Peter. Sir Ian McKellen does this. You can do this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just do it! Wait! Stop. Look. Glenn, you're obviously not gay. I see that now. And the truth is, if you're willing to go this far to get a divorce, then maybe we shouldn't be married after all. What? What are you saying? I'm saying I'll give you your divorce. You're off the hook. Oh. Oh, thank you, Charmise. Thank you so much. Good luck to you, sweetie. And good luck to you, Charmise. Thanks. You're very special to me. I'm sorry my urine melted a hole through your toilet. Aww. Oh, thank God that's over. Yeah, no kidding. Thanks, Peter. Yeah, you're welcome, buddy. Hey, Quagmire, why is the red light blinking on your computer? What are we watching? Glee? 